Good morning, Southern California, AM 1220, KHTS. This is your host, Fred Arnold, on the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight. Uh, today I'm uh, joined by my good friend, Bill Reynolds. Bill Re uh, Bill Reynolds is a veteran of Vietnam, um, a patriot in our city, very involved in, in the community and very involved in veteran issues. And I'm very, uh, and part of the inspiration behind the Boys of 67, Charlie Company's War in Vietnam by Andrew Wiest. And so I, I want to talk to you a little bit about the Boys of 67, the inspiration behind the book. All right, well, what happened is that uh, Dr. Andrew Wiest is a history professor at the University of Southern Mississippi, and he was, he was teaching uh, Vietnam studies. And one of the guys from our Charlie company, John Young, happened to meet up with Andy, and uh, they became friends, and John started telling him all the stories about Charlie Company. John actually became a, an assistant to the, to the professor in his classes. And they took, uh, they took s uh, students to Vietnam, revisited our battlefields, and, and uh, they, just, they just developed a real close relationship. And so Andy was inspired to write the book after hearing so many stories and visiting Vietnam that uh, that in 2006 at our uh, uh, Washington DC reunion, he came, introduced himself, and said he wanted to write the book, and that he would be calling us, interviewing us. He did, and six years later, um, last September, the book was released. So he, he poured about six years of his life into creating this book. You know what's inspirational about this, and we find uh, you and I are very involved in the community with, with uh, our fallen soldiers, and, and with people that come back from the war on terror, and it, it, it appears as if people are going back into Vietnam and discussing it because it wasn't discussed for many years uh, for several reasons. Uh, do you find that rehabilitating at all? Do you find that inspirational at all? What's your feeling towards it as a veteran now that people are going back into it? Well, I am one of those who went back to Vietnam as well, and it, and it was inspirational. But, but you're right, for, for, I don't know, 20 years, uh, the American public uh, ignored us. And initially, when we came home, they treated us terribly. I mean, spit on us, called us names, and, and, you, and you name it. So a lot of the guys were really kind of beat down over that. But in the 80s, it started to clean up. And, and thank God for that, because, you know, today's military personnel are volunteers. They're doing an excruciatingly difficult job. And, uh, and I think America has learned a lot from how we were treated back then. Today's military is treated so much better, especially in this, in this city. Mm -hmm. We really treat our, our military people well, and we don't forget our fallen. <clears throat> and, um, and by the way, yeah, let's look at this. Um, there's a plaque here that, that we're showing. If, you, if you're watching this online, it's a plaque and it says, In memory of my fallen brothers, Charlie Company, 4th Battalion, 47th Infantry, 9th Infantry Division. Um, and so tell me a little bit about, about this plaque. Well, this is a list of all the guys that we lost in our unit in Charlie Company during our tour of duty. Uh, one the first of our, one was March of 67, and the last one was in uh, May of 68. Yeah, and the last one, uh, Lieutenant Hoskins, uh, extended for six months, and, uh, and he almost made the six months before he was killed, but he was one of our favorite uh, platoon leaders, a West Pointer, and, uh, and so he was included, of course, on, on our plaque. Uh, there were many more casualties and more, uh, many, many wounded, including myself. Uh, on one day alone, Charlie Company lost 11 guys, Ju June 19, 1967. Alpha Company that same day lost 31. In total, we lost 47 guys on that one, one day. So this plaque in Andy's book allows us, well, we'll never forget our fallen. And, and uh, you know, that's, that's how we operate these days. I mean, we, we have our reunions every other year, and, and we, we always remember our fallen troops. And, and many, many of, of, of your brothers that were there, um, I would say brothers and sisters, but at the time it was women, I mean, men that were in combat. Right. Many of your brothers are, have gone on to become successful business people and citizens. Uh, by and large, Charlie Company has has done very well for itself uh, over the years. We've uh, 
We have a guy who is, a, who is also a history professor. We have a former uh, bank of, uh, a vice president of the Bank of Hawaii, business owners, uh, corporate middle management people such as myself. Um, yeah, it's, I have to say that by and large, we've all done where, very well and we've put it, we put it behind us, but we don't forget it. You don't forget it, and uh, <clears throat> I also want to mention the most patriotic individuals that we find other than World War II, and there's not as many World War II veterans, is, is Vietnam. Uh, we see a lot of them because there's a larger group of them here. So when you see a fallen soldier, you see the Patriot Riders who are riding, a lot of them are Vietnam. True. Um, every time we had an a unveiling last night. Yes. of the uh, Gold Star family tree. Yes, and I was present for that. Yeah. It was very, very heartwarming. And, you know, I've talked to a lot of, uh, of the Gold Star family members, and, uh, you know, when you talk to them, you know that they will never, ever get over their loss. And it means so much to them for us to remember them. To remember their children. And, you know, one thing I'll, I'll, I find in... in when I talk to the Gold Star families or when I speak with someone that lost somebody in Vietnam or when I, when I speak to someone who's been to Vietnam is ask them about their children. Hey, what do they love to do? What, what, yeah. what, what did you remember most about them? What, tell me about the great times when they were growing up. And you see them light up because the tears have gone away, but the memory of them lifts their spirit. Um, I didn't know what to say at first. Um, and and yeah. I find that when you ask them about their loved one, they brag about them in a way that they're here. Yeah, yeah. They'll never forget them. I, I have one story I have to tell. Uh, in the year 2000, shortly after I became acquainted with all of my Charlie Company brothers and I started a website for our unit, my wife and I had the good fortune of, of visiting Australia, which is my mother's homeland. And we stayed in a lodge in a, in a rainforest near Brisbane, Australia, way high in the mountains, beautiful area. And, and one day, this is year 2000, I stepped out on the balcony. I had a fine cigar. I had a gin martini shaken with two olives. And I sat there and looked out across this fantastic landscape, beautiful birds flying everywhere. And I thought, what a lucky guy I am <laughs> to be able to do this. And my thoughts immediately went to my brothers who could not come home. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I vowed right then and there that, that I'm going to live for the fallen. I have to live a good life. I have to live a life that, that they can't live, but that, but that they would want me to live. And so I don't look back on the war as, you know, with, with a, a, a sour attitude. I remember the good times and I remember my fallen brothers. Well, thank you for sharing that. Um, thank you for being part of the inspiration behind The Boys of 67, Charlie Company's War in Vietnam by Andrew Wiest. Yes. And uh, those that want to reach you, Bill, some, some people might want to reach out to you, maybe some Vietnam veterans that would love to have a cigar with you or, or meet up with you. That'd be great. Uh, how do they reach you? Well, they can reach me uh, via my uh, email, which is B-I-L-L-R-Y at ca.rr.com or they can uh, reach me via uh, the website 9thinfantrydivision.com right. so That's thanks. the easiest way. Thanks Bill. Thanks for all you do all right. and thanks for bringing back the memories of all these fallen soldiers. Thank you Fred. It's a pleasure being here. We'll be right back. <laughs>